Hello, my name is Brandon Kirkstra with Management Solutions Group, located in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We do a lot of consulting and training for different management standards, and today we wanted to highlight the changes to AS9100 in the new Revision C. We're going to break down the discussion into three areas. We're going to cover the new requirements in AS9100C. Then we'll talk about the requirements that were significantly changed since the Revision B. And then we'll finish up with giving some advice to companies that are looking to either upgrade their AS9100 certifications or companies that are looking to implement AS9100. So first we'll look at the new requirements in AS9100 Revision C. First off, the scope of the standard has changed. The Revision B of AS9100 was focused on the aerospace industry. And in Revision C, they expanded the scope to include the space and defense industries. The other new requirements in, in the Revision C are for project management and risk management. The project management requirement in Revision C requires that companies plan and manage the entire product realization process. For companies that have a strong product design and product development process already either established, documented, or just that have strong systems, They'll need to document those, but they'll find that implementing this new requirement is not all that difficult. Then next we have the risk management requirement. This requirement really focuses on the management of risk throughout the entire organization. I'll show you a diagram here that will help show you how that would fit into the overall system and the requirements. As you can see on this diagram, the risk management process really begins with the determination and review of requirements that are related to the product. It continues on through the design and development process if that's applicable to your organization. You see things there like critical items including key characteristics. Then on to the purchasing and vendor supplier requirements. And here we're looking at the flow down of those requirements to those suppliers. Then on to the production and service provision, again, if that service provision is applicable. So you see this, this risk management process it is throughout the entire organization. Now we'll move on to the requirements that have changed in the new Revision C. We'll start with first article inspection. This has long been a part of AS9100 in the aerospace industry. But now in the Revision C, it's being called the New Process Verification. And it's really to verify that the entire process is capable. So it is an expansion of the requirements. Companies that have dealt with product certification processes, maybe PPAP, production part approval processes, will find that this parallels those, those requirements and those, and those established processes. Next we'll talk about configuration management. This is a requirement that has been moved within AS9100 in the new Revision C and has been expanded. It now includes the planning, identification, change control, and status accounting of all the configuration managed items. So this is a significant expansion to this requirement. And lastly we have the work transfer requirements. This again, this also has moved in the standard and has been expanded to include the planning and control of all work that is transferred either to another location or to a supplier's site. So for companies that are looking to upgrade their systems to AS, from AS9100 Revision B to the Revision C, it looks like you'll have some time to complete any necessary upgrades within your processes and systems and complete your training. Most registrars that I have talked to are going to be ready to certify companies to the new revision at the end of 2009 or the beginning of 2010. For companies that are looking to upgrade their systems or that are looking to implement AS9100 that already have experience with ISO 9001 or TS16949, if you have experience with APQP, FEMA, PPAP, strong design and development processes and strong product launch processes, if those processes are defined well, you'll find that implementing the AS9100 requirements is pretty straightforward. There may be some additional documentation requirements as well as uh, including the aerospace specific requirements as well as the terminology. 
but again for companies that have strong processes documented you have good places to put these additional requirements and you have a good foundation to build on for companies that may not have a lot of these these processes documented it is a good time to make sure that you document the processes and can train new people as you bring them into your system we hope that you found this information useful if you'd like additional information, please visit our website at msgweb.com and click on the Resources and Links tab, which will take you to some additional uh, articles on both AS9100 as well as some other standards. You can always click on the Contact Us page and ask us some more specific questions. Thank you very much.